Shifting now to the Middle East, an American hostage held by al-Qaeda's affiliate in Yemen says his life is in danger. This, as the U.S. military said, it tried but failed to rescue him last month. With more, we turn to Paul Yee at the News Center. Paul, this militant group in Yemen recently released a new video. What did they say? Well, the leader of al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula denounced what he calls American crimes against the Muslim world. And has threatened to kill 33 old Luke Summers by the end of this week if their demands are not met. Our Sun Jung In reports. In a three minute video posted by Al Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula on Thursday, the terror group's leader threatened to kill an American hostage, claiming the U.S. had committed crimes against the Muslim world. Nasser bin Ali Al Ansi gave the U.S. three days to meet unspecified demands that he said Washington was aware of. We give the American government a time frame of three days from the issuance of this statement to meet our demands, about which they are aware. Otherwise, the American hostage held by us will meet his inevitable fate. Soon after the statement, Luke Summers, a British-born American, appears in the footage pleading for the U.S. government to save his life. The 33-year-old photojournalist was kidnapped last September in the Yemeni capital Sana'a while working for the Yemen Times. My name is Luke Summers. It's now been well over a year since I was kidnapped in Sana'a. Basically, I'm looking for any help that can get me out of this situation. I'm certain that my life is in danger. The threat comes more than a week after a rescue attempt by the United States Yemeni mission freed eight hostages kidnapped by al-Qaeda's Yemen branch. During the joint operation, however, the military is known to have failed to locate other five hostages, including Mr. Summers. Son Jung-in, Arirang News.